Richard Wilson, Chairman of the Tribal Council, Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Dear Mr. Wilson, as a landowner of Pine Ridge Reservation, I am deeply concerned about uh, the present government of this territory, which includes the districts. According to our constitution, any district who wish, which wish to take such an action as you took last week, calling for volunteers to form and a manned blockade of the community of Woody Knee behind the federal blockade. It re requires to bring this resolution to a meeting to all the districts. The action cannot legally be taken without the approval of the assembled districts in, in the meeting. I saw no reference in any of, of the new made to any such meeting as can only assume that you took this action without any legal authorization from these people you are supposed to be representing. I question you, I question also your so-called volunteers of this, the same paid trained volunteers you brought to Custer without any encouragement from any of the authorities to shoot down their in brother Indians. It is a common knowledge that you volunteers are paid at the rate of $3 an hour. That money should be used to improve the economic condition of this reservation. I would like you to name those volunteers for me. I may need some willing daredevils, volunteers in the future, who are so dedicated to the peace and integrity of the reservation. This is a wide and increasing demand for an audit of the reservation financial accounts. I would like to add my voice to this demand. Farage Indians have a right to know how much money is being borrowed from the U.S. government. On, that, on what terms? We, our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren are going to be burdened by this debt. And who is getting the money and for what purpose? The time is coming when we learn orders of the old Black Kilt claim at the Twitter Council, along with many other concerned Oglalas, are going to take action to get things straightened out. The Wheeler Howard Act, and now known as the Reorganization Act, has proved to be a sellout and was a trick used to obtain power of the group of self-centered politicians. We would never have agreed to this reorganization act if we had been told to the true story of what its consequences would be. When investigations committees finally come to Pine Ridge, they should take the time to listen carefully to those of us who remain loyal to the Sioux traditions and culture. The Landowners Association deserve a more powerful voice in the destiny of our people. We will no longer remain silent. The records are going to be made public and set straight for all to see. James Holy Eagle, General Delivery Rapid City, South Dakota.